We are staying in Milwaukee for our 58 hometowns visit today. Check for reports from our Mike Stralow throughout the day on CBS 58 from the Brewers Hill neighborhood. Visit Milwaukee's Claire Koenig joins us live for a preview of that visit. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So what's up with Brewers Hill? What is that neighborhood? So it's just north of downtown Milwaukee, right along the river and um, bordering MLK Drive. It's called Brewers Hill because it was home to brewery workers who worked in the nearby breweries and then um, the tanneries that would have been in that neighborhood. Now, though, it's home to some absolutely stunning houses and some really cool businesses. So Claire, if we're heading out there, say it's just like an average day, where would you recommend that somebody goes to get a true taste of the neighborhood? Sure. Well, I'm a huge fan of Uncle Wolfie's. You <laughs> definitely start your day there. They're an all day breakfast kind of restaurant yeah. um, and it's in a really cool historic building too. So you get, you definitely get the flavor of the architecture um, and brew yourself from that. You, you cannot go to Brewers Hill without going to Lakefront Brewery. Mm -hmm. It is. You, you can't go to a brewery in Milwaukee without going to like from brewery, if you ask me. <laughs> but it is a, a mainstay in that neighborhood, and they do absolutely an amazing job for locals and for visitors. Yeah, the tour's fun. I love yeah, their tour. They, they are they are awesome there. The what else? Great. The beer's great. It's fantastic. What else is there? What about uh, like nature or what's what's the neighborhood like? Sure. So um, lots of historic homes in this neighborhood. It's a mainly residential neighborhood again, but there are um, some very cool businesses. I do encourage you to walk around and check out those homes. So one of the oldest residences in the city of Milwaukee is located in Brewers Hill. I believe it was built in 1859 in the Italianate style. Um, it, it's really cool and makes for a great walk, especially if you're already along the river on the river walk. Um, the Swing Park is a popular stop yeah. that's underneath the Holton Street Bridge um, and it's a, an area of lots of swings. It's it's a really cool photo op. It's a great place for kids. And then of course above it, I mean people love the Holton Street Bridge because it's a popular bike trail um, and it's a very cool selfie spot. And Claire, your job is literally to promote visiting places in Milwaukee. Where can people go to learn more if they'd like to? Visit Milwaukee.org or any of our social accounts are guaranteed going to help you out and learn something new. Great, Claire. Looking forward to our visit today. Thank you. Thanks. Milwaukee's Brewers Hill neighborhood is located north of downtown between Holton Street and Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. An industrial neighborhood from its development in the late 19th century, Brewers Hill became a bustling center of German immigrants who were joined by an array of residents from other ethnic backgrounds. Homes in the neighborhoods include both large mansions and smaller houses reflecting its diversity. My co-anchor Mike Stralo live at a unique eatery, Uncle Wolfie's Breakfast Tavern. Hi Mike. Hi Amanda, you know uh, we are having a fantastic time here in Milwaukee's Brewery Hill neighborhood. Uh, community has done a great job of melding old and new. And an example of that is Uncle Wolfie's Breakfast Tavern. Joining me now is the owner, Wolfgang Schaefer. I guess I can call you Wolfie, huh? You can call me Wolfie. All right. <laughs> you and your wife, Whitney, have done a great job taking a 120-year-old building and giving it new life. Why has Brewers Hill been a great landing spot for you? Um, well, part of it is that history that you're talking about. I think that was really important for us to find a place that we could uh, renovate to, to um, just like you said, kind of meld the old and the new to have uh, to have that uh, our, our finger on kind of the uh, the old pulse and to also kind of create something that was new and magical and and, uh, uh, and uh, still representative of the city but um, something that was different and new for uh, this area. Got a big crowd here. Show us some Why of not? your signature dishes. Okay, sure. We got the Wolf and Dito over here. It's kind of like a, a sweet potato breakfast hash with our house-made chorizo. Uh, this is our fried chicken sandwich with house-made fries. Uh, the biscuits and gravy is always a massive hit with our uh, signature tavern potatoes on the side and then the uh, uh, the how to how the co the cookie crumbles French toast. Oh, we, oh this is nasty. That's so good. It's caramelized. Uh, or, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, cookie butter mousse. Uh, there's milk on glaze. Chocolate chip cookie crumble and uh, nutmeg nutmeg whipped cream. Great place to eat and shop. Uh, let's talk as we make our way back here. Tell yeah. us what is a Tide House? This is former Miller That's Tide House. That's a great House. question. Yeah, Tide House. Uh, it's Tide like T I E D. Yeah. Uh, as in the uh, the building itself is 
has been tied to the brewery. It's okay. a part of the brewery. And tied to the restaurant is orange and blue. And tied to the restaurant is what orange and blue. What do we got here? Uh, this is a mix of vintage and modern home goods and accessories. That's uh, anything from uh, uh, handbags and uh, 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 leather goods to uh, 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 candles and perfumes, um, uh, uh, hair care products, and self care products. <laughs> All right. Well, just a fantastic place. Uh, thank you so much, Wolfgang. It's my I, pleasure. I appreciate it. We've got a lot coming up this afternoon. At, at 4, we're going to be talking about the river walk, and at 5, a visit to Lakefront Brewery. And of course, uh, I found a castle here in Brewers Hill. We'll tell you more about Milwaukee Fortress coming up at 5. For now, though, from Brewers Hill for 58 Hometowns, I'm Mike Strelo with Wolfie here. Milwaukee's Brewers Hill neighborhood lives up to it na its name. There is a brewery at the bottom of the hill, but that is not all. Mike Strelo shows us the next historic stop on the CBS 58 Hometowns Tour. Located on a Milwaukee River bluff, Brewers Hill is home to the Beer Line Trail, a former rail line that served Pabst, Blatz, and Schlitz, an urban trail that'll take you to a variety of places here, including Lakefront Brewery. People want to be entertained and they want to have a beer. And so we tried to do those two things here in a tour and it made it successful. My name is Russ Klisch. I'm president of Lakefront Brewery. We have one of the top fish fries in town, so happy to keep that tradition going. We're putting in a new uh, beer garden underneath the bridge. A lot of character and all the architecture uh, around here, so I'm very, very proud to be part of it. That is our three-story penthouse. So you could be just like Rapunzel and live in a tower. My name is Amber Poklar, and I'm the property manager of the Milwaukee Fortress. We originally were built in 1892, and we started our life as a boot and shoe factory. And then in 2019, we went through a $55 million uh, renovation, and we opened up as luxury apartments. We have a great historic feel. We aren't cookie cutter. We have very unique apartments. It's a great area. We're close to downtown. We're just two blocks away. Um, lots of wonderful places to walk to. Uncle Wolfie's is here to sop up whatever you did yourself last night. My name is Wolfgang Schaefer. I uh, own Uncle Wolfie's Breakfast Tavern. So you can have breakfast for lunch or lunch for breakfast around here. It's the best, yeah, yeah, yeah. The same menu all day long. Um, you have burgers, in the, burgers at 8 a.m. Or you can get biscuits and gravy and eggs uh, at 3 p.m. to have the ability to take a building like this that sat dormant for four decades uh, and to breathe new life into it um, and make it something that was an attraction in the city was, was a, an absolute honor. A visit to Brewers Hill wouldn't be complete without a stroll across the marsupial bridge. A 650 foot long pedestrian walkway cradled in the pouch, if you will, of the Fulton Avenue viaduct overhead. A remarkable example of this community's commitment to melding old and new. For 58 Hometowns in Brewers Hill, I'm Mike Strelow.